Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to another episode of Journey Toward More. Journey Toward More is about making sure that we address and talk about more of what is for you, more of what you want, more of what's aligned with who you are, and more of what honors you. I am your host, Dr. Tammy Francis, known in these internet streets and on this podcast as Dr. Tammy. I am a success strategist and consultant. I help you move in the direction of more and prepare for what's next. And it is my hope that this podcast inspires you to aspire for more in your life and or your business. Today's episode is one that has been a long time coming. So first of all, let me just say Happy New Year. This is the beginning of 2023. We're starting a new year and apparently I am starting it off okay because we're we're relaunching this podcast. It's been about a year since we've had an episode and you can definitely go back and check out episodes one through 36. And so this episode 37 is special because not only has it been a minute, it's also a different kind of season that we're launching. This particular season is a little more personal. If you have followed me and you are in my circle and you have been um, around enough to know a little bit about me, you know that I am a big believer in um, the three areas of our life and how we should manage that life and the boundaries we should set. I think that we should have our private life, our personal life, and our public life. And what you see on social media is my public life and what I do around the world and how I impact those that I serve around the world and that influence in that particular arena. But I also occasionally share a little bit of my personal life. And lately, um, it's been really interesting behind the scenes of some of the things that... um, I've had to address while maintaining the public part of my world. And so I really want this episode to, one, inspire you to aspire for more, but also really get down to business and really talk about some of those topics that are really important that we don't typically talk about, but are also part of our journey toward more. And this particular episode, I'm going to share something extremely personal with um, that's going on with me, with you. And in sharing that, I'm hoping that you'll pick up some nuggets, some inspiration, some encouragement, some love, some support on your journey. I know that life is filled with ups and downs, curves, detours, And I've talked about some of those on my previous episode. So definitely check those out. Um, So this one is really going to be almost in real time because I will share what I've been going through the last five months, the latter half of 2022. And I will also be sharing it in real time as I uh, continue this journey in 2023. Um, Unfortunately, it's not over. It's really just beginning. And so I thought... This season, at least the next 12 to 13 episodes, I will share what that looks like via audio. There is video coming. I do have video and will do share a video of my journey as well um, later in the year. But for now, I thought, let's talk about it. 
let's have a conversation. And I've invited um, my my sons. That's part of my public life, my private life and personal life that I don't really share with the public and my nieces. Um, I thought I'd invite them to share in this experience and guide this experience in the conversation so that way maybe we'll actually get to some of the real questions that you want to know as we go through this that maybe we'll get to some of the content that's really most beneficial as you process through what I'm going to share with you and how that applies to your life and how you decide on your next move. So I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. I'm going to give past them the mic <laughs> and allow them to introduce themselves. And then we're just going to dive right into the questions um, and really just talk about who I am and um, some of the things that they want to know. Because um, this is this episode, I will warn you, is more of an introduction. I know some of you are new to me and new to my platform. So this will be more of an introduction. And then the next episode is when we really get down to it. But let me have them introduce themselves. Hello, I'm Sanaya, one of her nieces. Hi, I'm Brianna, the other niece. I am Devon, one of her sons. I'm DC, the other son. And the first question is, tell us who you are and what you do. So I, I've kind of mentioned it before. I am what I call the catalyst. I am the catalyst. And I think um, of myself as a catalyst because I think that I am one to help you as you clarify your vision, create an action plan, execute a strategy, and then monetize it. So that's what I do um, in my business, but I'm also an, a traditional educator. I have taught for over 22 years. Woo, I just kind of paused on that. I've taught over 22 years, both in K-12 and in higher education. And I am currently in higher education where I am a 10-year associate professor at a community college in Texas. And um, I I talk about many different things. Of course, I talk and help students and adults, more so adults through the college experience and college life, um, college and career readiness, the future of work. I even talk about the future um, of education and learning. And so I talk about that as it relates to technology. I've always been interested in technology and the next technology innovation. So I have um, I've incorporated that into education. So I talk a little bit, I guess you would say more ed tech. And um, so I, of course, I talk about, um, so I'm talking about the buzz now, right? Web3, blockchain technology, cryptocurrencies, the metaverse. Um, you know, I'm talking about those things as it relates to um, those who are choosing careers and wanting to reskill and upskill but also for those who want to transition into tech and or make sure that in their current position, they are ready um, for what's next. And those who are in my classes, I want to make sure that they are graduating and finishing school, um, higher education with marketable skills, and that in the next few years when they graduate, they will have a job. So um, a lot of what I do right now is really... Um, I guess I would say it's, it's kind of, um, evolved into what I would like to say is an ecosystem where I am addressing those things that will help you on your journey toward more. And so that's why I call myself a strategist. I don't call myself a coach. I call myself a strategist because I help you with the strategy and figuring out how to execute that strategy so you're successful at whatever your goals are. So I think a big part of my platform is looking at your purpose and making sure that you're doing what you're aligned, what, what's aligned with who you are and where you're going um, and being intentional about that. And so that's where it's important to create strategy and to have a strategy for what's next. And so a lot of what I do is inspiration and encouragement, which is one of the reasons for this podcast is to give a different perspective without all the technicals, but I'll give you some, some practical 
strategies and tools that you can use on your journey. So um, I do so much, but stay tuned. You'll learn more. <laughs> so who or what inspired you to start, to start Catalyst for Change? Um, I think Catalyst for Change Global, I think it was always there. I know I started educational consulting in the early 2000s. And um, I, th- I think what happened is I learned a lot about myself as I was growing and learning. And in that, I decided that, you know, what I always say now as part of my brand is that we're complex beings and there's more to us than this one thing. And what I found is that the people that I was helping and serving and impacting, they were wanting and needing um, more than one thing. They were, in order for them to even start to take that first step, We needed to create a plan for that. And it involved more than one area of their life. And so I think Catalyst for Change Global is really like, one, I wanted to impact people globally, not just in my neighborhood, not just in my community, but around the world. But I also wanted to be that catalyst for change. And change in the world, people always talk about that, you know, I feel like, you know, this reminds me of one of the pageant queens, right? Um, about the change in the world, but also just the change in ourselves and our lives. And so I think Catalyst for Change is kind of was an evolution of learning about myself and what was to come and um, making that available to other people. And so Catalyst for Change today is um, a consulting firm. And that's kind of what came out of that is that it's a consulting firm and it is, um, and, and I would say, maybe I'll say it's an educational consulting firm that empowers black and brown communities with tools, strategies, and the resources necessary to move in the direction of more and to be successful in life and business, kind of like this podcast, to make a global impact and serve as a catalyst for change in all aspects of our community, education, and business. Um, Catalyst for Change Global is also to prepare communities for a digital transformation to effect change globally in education, literacy, college and career readiness, business, entrepreneurship, leadership, and personal sovereignty. So some of those topics that I talk about, it goes back to that. And I'm a really big advocate. I call myself a Jedi. (laughs) Justice, equity, diversity, inclusion. So in all the things that I do, I also think about that as well so I think Catalyst for Change Global is is really the evolution of who Dr. Tammy is and what I believe and how I can change the world now what is your idea for this season so my idea for this season is one um kind of like what I said earlier is to get more personal and to share um, my personal journey this last year and how I've been able to execute a strategy and kind of go through it and um, and maybe change a few lives, kind of what the purpose and mission of Catalyst for Change Global is. Um, but I also wanted it to be not just Dr. Tammy telling people what she think they should know. I wanted y'all to kind of um, guide the questioning so that way it will also guide the content. So it's more in line with what other people would want to know, what maybe my listeners would want to know. And a way for them to connect with me on a different level. Because I think that um, because I have this public life, but I don't share a lot of my pri- my personal, that I think that um, some of that can be motivation, inspiration, encouragement as well. So so we'll see. We'll, we'll try this. It'll be more of an interview style. Uh, it would be me sharing a little more of my personal life. Um, and so people will have to watch, listen to the podcast in order to get it because um, I'm only doing it in this platform. So um, so that wherever you're watching this podcast, whether it's Google Play, you've downloaded or iTunes or Spotify or SoundCloud, come back, come back. I have something to share. <laughs> All right. Okay. You keep a lot of stuff private. And you don't share much about your personal life online. You especially keep us, your children, offline. You share us once a year. (laughs) Why do you want us to take part in the season? Why now? 
Uh, that's a great question. Uh, yeah, it's kind of like, why now? Yeah, I usually just share them. For those of you that follow me, um, Christmas. <laughs> we do our um, holiday post in the fall and once a year, just so y'all can see that they are growing and they're, they're okay. Um, <laughs> I haven't put them to work too much yet. But I think that um, part of this journey is... Um, support and having a support system and having um, you all help me through it as much as um, I I think I tried to help y'all through it and so I think that one it's I think it it also offers a different perspective um, maybe this is two um, it offers a different perspective because it's from your lens it's not from mine and what and typically my podcast I kind of take what my audience is requesting and asking and go but since I've kept this kind of private and not really um you know it was it's even been a little more than personal it's been private um for the most part that I thought because of that it'd be good to kind of since I'm taking it all the way public with this podcast is to have y'all help share that so um And I think it it goes into the title of this particular episode, Living and Leading a Legacy. Um, Because I think that, um, I think, you know, as parents, we think that, you know, our job is to lead. And I think that sometimes we also have to follow. And so I think part of this podcast is uh, this particular episode in this particular season is to allow y'all to um, not just be followers, but be leaders in how this information is shared with the world. And and so I think that's that's a big part of it. Will we have to be on every episode? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. And, and to be honest, you probably won't. I mean, there will be um, probably the beginning. This first part of the season will be very heavily into it. And then um, there'll be times that you won't. Um, I I think that because these next three or four weeks are going to be the great reveal and a lot of the meat of the conversation and why we are having this particular season and doing this particular season this way, um, I think you'll definitely be here at the beginning, you know, the first five or six episodes But, um, no, you won't be here all 15. (laughs) Um, And I I realize you have your own life. However, um, I I, I definitely think that for these that are a little more um, revealing, that it'd be nice for you to to hang out and be a part of it. So, yeah, so you won't (laughs) you won't be a part of all of them. If only y'all could see their faces. Uh, when I said how many se- how many uh, episodes there were in this entire season. <laughs> so, your brand, A. Tammy, and the Catalyst for Change global brand is about moving in the direction of more and preparing for what's next. So, based on our conversation today, what do you want people who are aspiring for more to take away from it? Oh, that's a great question. So, uh, you know, um, one, whatever it is that you want to do, Um, You can do it if you have the right community and support. And to to make sure that it's aligned with who you are and where you're going. And be willing to evolve. Um, Just because you start out one way doesn't mean that's how you have to finish or how you have to continue. So um, a big part of, I think, today's episode in talking about myself and serving as an introduction for the season is letting you know that you you there's a way to focus on one thing and maybe start with one thing but you don't have to continue with only that thing like there has to be a strategic process um three is that um every day we're living and we're living um a legacy and we shouldn't have to wait till life is over until we stop breathing to do something great or to be recognized for what we do that we can share that on our journey and so I think that's three 
um, and four, um, I, I think that we should be, when I think about leading a legacy, I think that part of that is being um, a, oh, I'm losing my words, y'all. Um, I think it's, it's about being an example for others to follow and um, which gives them access to the possibilities and moving in that direction of more and preparing for what's next. So I think a lot of how we navigate the world is by what we see. And if I didn't learn anything in 2022, I did learn <laughs> that every day your life should speak and your life should speak where you don't necessarily have to, but where your living is not in vain where what you're doing is impacting others positively and that when it's said and done, you can be proud of yourself. And um, so I think that why not now? You know, it's kind of like, why wait? Let's just do it now. So, um, so I think that's my encouragement for all of you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank y'all for uh, hanging out with me for this week's episode. Thank you for your questions. Um, I know that today's episode was really an introduction and really light. I know it's going to be an interesting journey, but we got this. So, uh, so thank you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> So listen, thank you all for joining us. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being a part of today's episode. I really appreciate y'all taking time to listen on your way to work, in your car, wherever you are in the world at this moment. I appreciate you um, listening in and tuning in and hearing a little bit more about what I do and um, the introduction for this particular season. This podcast is dedicated to your mind, body, and soul through connections and conversations. And so I thought, why not? Let's have this conversation. So to have a conversation, I probably need to invite a few people along with me. <laughs> so we will explore those topics that address those three areas, our mind, body, and soul, both directly and indirectly, um, to serve as a catalyst as for change for you, for me, for those who you may share it with. My goal with this particular space, with this podcast, is to shift mindsets, to explore the world, expose more of what is available, and uncover or discover our gifts, our dreams, and our goals. So make sure that you download, subscribe, leave a kind review, and um, stay tuned. Come back for next week's episode. Next week's episode we're going to, um, as Emerald says, the chef, going to take it up a notch. And so I hope that you will be a part of this journey and you continue to aspire for more. Have a great week and we'll be here all season long and we hope you'll join us. Y'all take care. Bye.
inspire for more. Ooh, 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 ooh. You should aspire for more.